everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. So what you guys are seeing right now is me paused right now and that is because we are currently waiting for the Moon Lord to come in. And well, as you guys can hear in the background and as you can see by all the mobs following me, we actually have ourselves a solar eclipse going on right now. Which is a little bit annoying admittedly, but you know what, you know, it's neither here nor there. So guys, what I have been doing off camera is trying to farm out the pillars a whole bunch. And I kind of decided, oh hey, should we start off some episodes by going ahead and uh, seeing if we can't take down the Moon Lord a whole bunch of times. I think that'd be a cool idea. You may be able to notice that it says Super Terrarian now. I'm not just the regular Terrarian. That is because I've done a whole bunch of reforging. Because I had like 20 platinum coins, I saw no reason why I shouldn't, you know, reforge that bad boy. So, yeah. We have ourselves a Super Terrarian now, and it does 319 damage with the, uh, with the OP set of armor that I've got going on. So... You know, that's obviously very, very nice. So, oh, here we go. All we got to do is prevent ourselves from getting killed. Well, I should probably, like, go down a little bit lower here. So I could, like, actually stay away and stuff. Right, so let's continue that. So that hand is almost down. That hand is very, very almost down. It's literally just the top one. There we go. So 18, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10... 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey! And it's down. All right, guys. So, let's get this hand out of the game. Let's get the core out of the game. And we are good. First time taking the Moon Lord out with the Terrarian in this particular series. Not as fast, I have to say. Not as fast as the SDMG with our Ranger set. But you know what? It's still a pretty reliable way of taking down the Moon Lord. So, yeah. I am a happy bunny because he's down. There you go. 150 health remaining. And I did it cheeselessly, which is obviously very nice. So, yeah. Get out of here, freaking deadly sphere, Dumbo. Right, what you got for me this time, broski? Uh, hey. Something else we don't have. The Lunar Flare. Ooh. That's kind of epic. Hello. I'm going to destroy you with the power of the Lunar... Uh... Uh, Sky. Yeah, th yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> so, guys, I want to thank you guys for all of the support you guys showed on the return episode last episode. I really do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with, let's say, a thousand likes per episode, then that, my friends, would be absolutely fantastic. Now, what are we actually going to be doing in today's episode? Well, I thought it might be a nice idea to begin on our custom space biome over to the left here. So, let's go over to this place here. And what we're going to do is we're going to skip... We can't skip. Ah, dang blast it. That means I actually have to try and take down the freaking, uh, the, the, the thingy, the, ah, uh, the eclipse. Yeah, that thing's annoying, man. Ugh. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to farm this bad boy out for a little bit, huh? <laughs> I can't win, huh? I can't win. All right, guys. You know what I am interested in? I'm interested to see what banners we actually have for all of the, uh, for all of the things. So... Let's go ahead and quick stack all of that. There's the Alien Queen banner. I mean, we're looking pretty good. The tax collector was just taken out the game. But you know what? That's that's neither here nor there. Everything's fine. Let's get you put in there. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Philosia is taking out the freaking deadly sphere. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of help. Oh, there, oh a pirate map. Hey. Do you know what? Boom. We're doing it. Hey, I wonder if the pirate invasion replaces... Oh, hang on. Sounds like they're coming in already. All right. So, what? Does this, like, replace the solar eclipse? Is that what happens? To tell you the truth, guys, I don't actually know. Oh, no, there's both kinds of dudes coming in, apparently. <laughs> okay, and then the pirate invasion goes away. And then it'll come back again because, you know, this is a town area. So, I don't know. It kind of makes sense. Usually when there's an invasion, it typically tends to be around where towns and NPCs are. So, oh yeah, here they come. They have returneth. Oh, dang. All right. So, have we ever taken down the pirate invasion on this series before? I don't know. Golden platforms, golden furniture everywhere. Oh, yeah. I have a nasty suspicion we've never taken down the pirate invasion before in this series. 54 episodes in, you would have thought I would have taken it down like 314,000 times, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> I like how there's both kinds of mobs in here. That's kind of cool. 
<laughs> yeah, so you got like both the Eclipse dudes and the freaking pirates. That's cool. Hey, a moonstone. Uh huh. That's kind of epic. You know what? One thing I don't think I have is the sunstone. So it could be a nice idea to try and get that so we can get the celestial stone, which is like just a universally amazing accessory to have for like every single class in Terraria, right? So, yeah, could be an interesting one. You know what? While we're doing this, we're just going to go ahead and quickly check our accessories chest. I really don't think we have it, though. I mean, it won't be in that one. Uh, where's the accessories chests? Uh, yep, nothing in that one. We do have the moon charm, though, and we do have Neptune shells. So, when it comes down to it, yeah, the sunstone, I think, is the only thing we need. Yeah, okay. Well, what do we have in our summons chest? Okay, so no sign of any lizard power cells. So, I mean, thankfully we can get down there real easy, like. But I think it'd be a nice idea if we tried to go for the celestial shell or celestial stone. I can never remember in which order they are. Whether the shell is the best one or the stone is the best one. What is that? Golden chest? Ah, oh, mate, that's epic. Cool. Hey, guys, I tell you what else would be cool is the coin gun. Hey, when was the last time we had the coin gun? I know we've had it in previous series, but I know that in normal mode, it's even rarer. In expert mode, there's an increased drop chance, but in regular mode, no. I mean, the most commonly, uh, you know, the most common mob you get it from is indeed the captains. I'm pretty sure you could also get it from the flying Dutchman, uh, which by the way, is just up here. Hello, and you're dead. There you go. Well, that was easy. Right, come on. I gotta take everybody down. We need some more of those boats to come along. That would be kind of awesome. Oh, get out of here, freaking dude person thing. Get out of here. Oh, another table. Coolio. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Come on, then. You wanna go? You're dead. <laughs> this is just easy, man. This is so stupidly easy. Come on. Okay, come on. I really would like to get the coin gun, though, like, in all seriousness. I think that'd be epic. Hey! Goodbye, pirates! Nice knowing you! All right, so what do we get? We've got us. A... Oh, hello, 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 hello. Ooh, get killed there, sir! All right, so, yeah, the solar eclipse is nearly over at this point. So, uh, you know, obviously, that's a pretty cool thing. So, yeah, guys, all in all, didn't do too bad there. We've got ourselves a couple moonstones, some banners. We've got ourselves various gold furniture. So, yeah, like I say, all in all, I don't think we did too bad. So, I'll tell you what, let's put all gold furniture into this chest over here while I also attempt to try to not die. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's put a dragon out real quick. There you go. That'll do the job. All right, so let's get all of this gold furniture put away. And yeah, we are going to head down to the Lizard Temple because I want to get the moon, uh, Sunstone even. Well, guys, if you want yourself a good mob farming arena, then just digging out a very, very large area with the freaking DCU is probably the way to go. The old drill containment unit. Oh, man. I don't feel like I've used this thing nearly enough in this series, so... Yeah, we're looking pretty good though, my friends. I'm just opening up the uh, the large arena area, right? So we have ourselves a slightly higher chance of having mob spawn, you know? So what I'm hoping is there's going to be like millions of lizard power cells on the floor. I mean, we've picked up one already, so that's a good start. Uh, hello there, sir. That's incredibly disrespectful. How dare you? Right, so here we go. We're nearly done with this little thing. And then we'll have ourselves a nice little mob farming area here. Which is kind of nice, if you ask me. Yeah. Ah, turns out we actually picked up our lizard altar from the jungle temple. Still, I think what we need to do is find ourselves a decent place to put it, I guess. So, yeah, maybe we just pull it in the center. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe we just put it like... Also didn't mean to do that. <laughs> maybe we just like put it in the center over here. And then we just like go at it. So, uh... All right, we need to, like, dig that out real quick, huh? All right, what have we got here? Oh, yellow marigold. Ooh, cool. Boom! Go on, you're going to die. Just accept your fate and die well. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the dragon because there's a pain in the butt. There you go. All right, Mr. Gollum. I'm looking very specifically for the sunstone. If you can give me that, then I will be eternally grateful. What did you give me that time? A possessed hatchet. Ooh, this thing's actually not that bad, I'll be honest with you guys. It's kind of decent. All right, come on then. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, I think RNG's going to be a butt today, huh? It typically tends to be once I've had a good return episode, then Tamari just starts going back to its old ways. In fact, no, scrap that. I just got the sunstone. <laughs> hey, 
You love to see it, my friends. You love to see it. Well, there we go, ladies and gents. That's all we needed. So, all we need to do is grab out the sunstone. Uh, sorry, the moonstone. And then we also need ourselves Neptune shell and the moon charm. I think that was in this one here, wasn't it? So, yeah, there's the moon charm. And then, where's the shell? There it is. Okay, so, what we've got to do is combine these bad boys. And then we should have ourselves a really cool super accessory. All right, so, let's get up here real quick. And, yep, there's the celestial stone. And there's the celestial shell. Okay, so the shell is the higher one. So, what's this one used for? What was the Neptune shell used for? Oh, is it for, like, turning yourself into the mare folk at night or something like that? I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> jagged. Hmm, fleeting. Nah, hey, that's more like it. Okay, let me remind myself. This thing is used for a super accessory. I'm pretty darn sure of it, man. I'm pretty darn sure of it. So let's go ahead to the guide. And I need to remind myself. So, uh, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, the moon shell. Oh, right. So we already did that part. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Just me being a bit of a doofus, in which case, hey, you love to see it. Guys, we've got ourselves a super accessory, and it's warding, which is even better. So, you know, when it comes down to it, if we put that on, then we have ourselves even more damage with, you know, swords. But if we wanted to use yo-yos, then away we go. Uh, whoa. What? 315 damage. 340 damage. How does that work? That's got 340 damage now. So the yo-yo... Wow. Okay. So if I put that in place of the angst shield, then this thing would do 340 damage times however many times you can get a yo-yo spawn out of this thing. Damn, man. That's a lot. David the pirate has arrived, huh? Well, there you go. I think that's proof right there. We've never taken down the pirate invasion on this world yet. That's incredible. How the heck have we never taken it down on this world? Seriously, that's insane. Right, now that, that does 344 damage now. Uh, that's warding. We could probably try to go for, like, menacing on everything if we just want raw damage. I mean, it's not like we don't have a whole bunch of money now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's try and get menacing on as... Oh, yep, there we go. Menacing on as many things as we can. 353 damage. Amazing. That's already got menacing. So, let's reforge this. That only costs four gold. Wow. Okay. More menacing, please. There you go. This thing now does 361 damage. Oh, this is where it gets expensive. Could we maybe get ourselves... Ooh, this is expensive, brother! Oh my goodness me! I'm so gonna wind up spending all of my money on this, aren't I? Oh my gosh. Come on. You gotta give me it. You gotta give me it. You gotta give me it. Come on, bro! Come on! There you go. Now does 369 melee damage. What? <laughs> That's a lot. So everything here has now got menacing. Wow. That's that's quite something, isn't it? I do like me some raw damage, though, my friends. I really, really do. So, I'll tell you what. Maybe what we do, since we have never actually taken down the pirate invasion on this world, we do actually have ourselves quite a few pirate maps, right? Pi pirate Cracker? I can buy that? What? Wait, where is he? Oh, I need to, I need to like, place it on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. There you go. Wait, are you going to, like, give me the thing? Summons a pet parrot. Oh, that's so cool. I got a pet parrot following me. Oh, that's so sweet, man. Oh, I feel like I've never, ever had that before. That was like hella expensive. Jesus Christ. But do you know what? I'll roll with it. I will freaking roll with it. Okay, right. What do we have here that we've got like many, many of? Uh, yeah, that. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Okay, guys. We're going to do this thing. We have for pirate maps. So, I don't know, we might have a semi-decent chance of taking on, or more to the point, getting the coin gun. That could be cool. So, I'll tell you what, should we time-lapse all of them? Shall we? Shall we time-lapse all of this? Should we time-lapse the four pirate invasions? I feel like that'd be a cool way to do it. I mean, we're going to get ourselves quite a lot of money in addition to quite a lot of other stuff as well. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, there's already a pirate captain. Hey, not bad, not bad. The golden stuffs are already starting to get there. Okay, so any second now, they'll come back and then they'll try and take me out of the game. But let's be honest, they're not going to be able to do that because they're a bunch of sissies. Okay, so I'll tell you what, let's do it at the center here, huh?
Alrighty guys, and there we go, the end of the four pirate invasions, and honestly, we did pretty well out of it guys, not only did we get the discount card, we got ourselves the uh, the gold ring of course, the only things we didn't really get were the coin gun and also the lucky coin, which of course gives you more money upon hitting enemies, so... Yeah, I think that might be something that we try to go for in future. But I'm just looking on the floor here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, let's just make sure there's nothing in the water here. Uh, nah, just a few coins here and there. Yeah, not a bad little run there, my friends. Not a bad little run indeed. And of course, guys, we do have ourselves a whole bunch of golden furniture as well. Which is kind of awesome. Because it means eventually we could probably go ahead and make ourselves a bit of a gold-themed build. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here now, my friends. We even got ourselves the pirate staff. So if we wanted to full, if we wanted to go full pirate, we could if we really wanted to. So that's kind of epic. Anyways, we don't need two loads of these uh, various things. Uh, so we'll sell that one because we only need the regular discount card. Uh, we don't need three cutlasses. However, I will cut. Uh, I will keep that one. So boom, boom. So there's that, that, that. There's the parrot banner, got some other banners, got a candle, a shirt, and apparently a couple ammo rocks here and there as well, which is kind of interesting. All right, not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about today's episode. We've done a bunch of farming and uh, got ourselves some really, really cool stuff so far. Got ourselves a, a new accessory, which we haven't had, which is kind of cool, if you ask me. So, yeah, don't mind if I do. And, of course, from all of that, we've got ourselves a bunch of money as well, which is very, very nice. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the custom space biome. Now one of the things I didn't actually show you guys is that I really have been very, very busy trying to organize my inventory and trying to get a whole bunch of epic stuff going. Ah, I just realized I don't have my safe on me. Where did I put my safe? I don't, I don't actually know where I put my safe. I should probably go find that real quick, huh? Uh-huh. I don't know where I left it. I think I may have left it in the dome tower over here. Is it? Did I pull it over here? Yes, I did. Because what I decided to do was, uh, you know, consolidate all of my various things together. So let's do a quick stack there. Yeah, look at that, my friends. We have ourselves a lot of potion ingredients going on. And I'll tell you something, it's kind of nice. So there we go. There's the safe back in action. Now, sadly, what that means is I'm going to need to take one of these out. So there we go. We'll take that out. We'll put the discount card there. So we've got the DCU, Defender's Forge, and safe. So yeah, I'm trying to make it so I don't have to keep like going into chests and whatnot. So that's really the fact of the matter. That's really what I'm trying to go for here. So there you go. We've got a bunch of that. And uh, we're going to go over here. So guys, Check this out. I really have been busy trying to organize my inventory. You just saw my piggy bank right there. We've got all of the various sets of armor and epic accessories and all that kind of stuff. But, like I say, we've got ourselves all of this stuff going on here. So we could just chuck down an alchemy station anywhere and make ourselves a freaking ton of potions. Which is, you know, very, very nice. As I'm sure you guys can figure out. So, we get rid of that. And this one, my friends, this one is my building box. I decided to put a whole bunch of building related materials, including wiring materials and wiring accessories and other accessories inside of here. So we've got the gizmo pack, we've got ourselves the bottomless water bucket, super absorbent sponge, manipulator, sickle, contaminator, all that kind of stuff, and a whole selection of blocks to use here, my friends, including walls as well. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's worth doing this. If you are any kind of builder in Terraria, then take a little bit of a look at this inventory. Let me know. A, if you like it, and B, if you think there is something else that should belong inside of this case as well. Because if so, I will 100% go ahead and do it. Because, yeah, I, I'm all about efficiency, you know? I'm all about efficiency, which is why I've got all these blocks ready to build with and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm very, very excited. Because, guys, what I'd really like to do is I'd actually like to head back to base. And I would like to begin making myself... Some space-related blocks. That is why, my friends, space-related blocks. So you can see we've got ourselves a bunch of fragments here, which is a very, very good start indeed. And if we were to grab ourselves out a whole bunch of stone, we should be able to convert these into various types of stone. Yeah? So there we got that. So do we make them here? Uh, no. Where is it you make them? I don't... Oh, what's that? Super healing potion. 200 health. Ooh. Well, if we ever wind up farming the pillars for, like, an entire episode, then that might actually be a worthy investment. But for now, my friends, 
all I'm trying to figure out is how to make the blocks. Which crafting station will it be? Will it be the furnace? No. Hmm. You see, I feel like it should be the ancient manipulator. Oh, it is. I'm so dumb. I'm honestly so dumb. You guys were probably crying out in the comments area. Oh, my goodness me. And I don't freaking blame you, dudes. I don't blame you. There you go. 195 solar fragment blocks. Uh... Well, that's pretty significant, actually. All right, and then we got a whole bunch of that, and then a whole bunch of Stardust ones, and we've actually run out of stone there. Wow, I didn't think that would happen. Okay, so, yeah, it's very, very rare you actually run out of stone, isn't it? So, here we go. Blocks, box. Uh, you know, we, we do have... We've got many multiple stacks of freaking stone at this point, so we don't really need to worry about it. So, here we go. And, yeah, looking pretty good, guys. So, we can make ourselves a pretty decent start on the space biome. And I tell you what, in the next episode, I feel like we should go ahead and do that. In addition to maybe farming out the uh, the pillars a little bit. So, yeah, I do want to go ahead and see what these look like, though. Because I feel like it's been a while since we've seen them. And especially with the weird blue background we've got going on here, these will probably look kind of strange all right so that's the solar one let's have a look at the uh, vortex one okay the vortex one seems to work pretty well with the uh, with the background in my opinion okay so this is the nebula one i believe yeah okay looking pretty cool and finally of course we do have ourselves the stardust one Ooh, looking good okay so in my opinion the only one that kind of doesn't work too well around here is probably the solar one. I don't know. The other ones, they seem to blend quite well in the background. But if you were to ask me like a, like, you know, worst to best, like that would be the worst one. This would probably be third place. Uh, that would be second place. And then the Stardust one would be first place. I mean, it makes sense. You know, the background is the Stardust pillar. So, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, anyways, we are going to go ahead and end the episode right here. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating goes a very, very long way. It truly does help out myself, the channel, and the video very, very much. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, I want to bid you farewell. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.